Hi guys, Sam here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things budgeting, planning, saving money, and my family's journey to financial freedom. Today I'm closing out the final paycheck for the month of May. I'm going to be going over our transactions for the last two weeks. And then for the remaining cash, I will be stuffing that into my rollover savings challenge. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, then keep on watching. So you guys, if you saw my previous cash stuffing, I did say that I was going to try out the prop money uh, cashless cash envelope system where I'm using prop money as a form of tracking what I have budgeted for each category and then replacing that with my receipts and seeing how that was going to work for my family. So I think this would have worked better for me if I was actually using the envelopes versus the cash dividers because with this specific wallet, there's not a whole lot of room. I'll show you real quick what I had to work with here. So all my receipt, you see how I can, I can barely close this wallet right now with the um, dividers that I have right now with the prop money in there. So now you know with real money, it's thicker because it's crinkled and so it was it would get really tight in between here with the cash that you had in there. So what I was using, what I was doing every time I would use the um, denomination that I needed, I would replace it with the receipts and it got thick real quick. And so what I was ending up having to do was taking the receipts and putting it into a separate envelope. And that way it was still the cashless um, method, but Instead of putting my receipts here like I had intended, I just put it into a separate um, envelope. So I think if I was using actual cash envelopes, it would work better. With this method, with this specific wallet, I don't know how it works with other wallets. Um, this is the first time I've used cash dividers. It didn't work very well because it was getting to where it was, I wasn't able to zip my wallet. So that's how that worked out. I'm going to grab these back out and then go over our transactions. I'm going to set this cash aside. I don't know if you notice, it's a change of scenery here. We are not at home, clearly, because this is a different setup. But I didn't want to be backed up or any more backed up than I already am with my filming because it's already June. I haven't even started my um, budget with me for the month of June his pay period weekend so what do you have to film that so i was like you know what we're just gonna go with it and see where we end up so the blue here you guys if i don't sound like my normal self it's because my husband is in the room with me and i try to chase him out of here but he refused to leave um i don't like filming in front of him but he still insists so I'm going to be all proper and see how that, <laughs> see how that works out. Um, the blue here is my grocery. So we're just going to go through the, the top portions here and then make our way down. The groceries is blue. Oh, I need a calculator. I was um, talking to Edith with Pretty Penny and we were talking about a sip and chit chat with me type video and I was telling her girl I cannot do that I'm like I get all tipsy and I'm like I'm gonna be calculating numbers all you know pack them in and whatnot and then be like mm, why are my numbers not adding up <laughs> but she's like you should do it worst thing that could happen is you don't post it so if you didn't know it's my birthday tomorrow hence why we're not at my usual filming spats and my husband and I are in Tempe and of course I'm like we can't go to dinner and watch Top Gun until I film my video so he's being very patient right now I'm sipping on my drink and I'm filming this <laughs> so yeah if my numbers don't match up it's fine I'll fix it tomorrow when we get home yeah all right so again Blue here is my groceries. I have 126 on week one from Walmart and then 118 for week two. 
total of 244 and we had budgeted $250. So we would have $6 remaining here. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna swap it out with real cash because this cash that's remaining is what we'll be stuffing in our um, rollover savings challenges. So here is my $6 here. Okay, all right, uh, gas, we had a hundred dollars budgeted for these two page, um, for these two weeks. And then we spent $60 week one, $40 week two, zero remaining, okay. Eating out is our pink there. We had 100 budgeted. We spent $30 at KFC, um, $12 at Subway, and $23 at Panda Express. So we should have $35 remaining. And we have 20, 30, 35. I'm gonna swap out my prop money with my cash. 20, 30, 35. Oh, I feel so restricted with this lack of space. It's fine. Household is this purple here. We had budgeted $15. I did not get a chance to go to CVS. I probably said it like, I was telling my mom, I was like, I probably said it like four times this last week. I'm gonna go to CVS. I'm gonna go to CVS, print my coupons and everything. And I still didn't get a chance to go. Um, but I definitely have to go next week because we are running low on some cleaning supplies. And my husband's eyeballs are twitching because he's OCD and clean freak like that. And he's like, I'm running low on Clorox wipes and all that fun stuff. So yes, I gotta do that next week. So household has five dollars left. Here's that spending has nada we had 110 budgeted between myself my husband and my babies and that's all this green here all that spending okay i spent five dollars at starbucks my husband spent 15 at maverick in the morning five at maverick in the afternoon $20 at Roberto's for some burritos. I spent $9 on Etsy, $13 on Instagram, um, one of those IG orders also for support small. It's because I didn't have anything um, saved up yet in my support small envelope. And so because I missed my lash appointment, yes, y'all, I cried a little bit um when i missed my lash fill because no one could get me in in my little town i'm going into my birthday weekend looking like a naked mole rat because um i couldn't get in anywhere so i ended up just um having my lashes removed because they were so grown out and no one can get me until next week so hence why i have an extra 40 dollars to spend but those transactions there are for my next round of support small batch of um savings challenge i'll be purchasing or that i purchased that i'll be featuring whenever i complete the current challenges then ten dollars at dollar tree and my husband spent another 10 at roberto's and then spent $20 on a gift card because I still had $20 remaining in my spending money. I just went ahead and purchased that because I already know the next set of products I'll be purchasing from Etsy. And oh, I forgot. And then $3 on Etsy also for support small. So that's all of our personal spending. So nothing in there. And then entertainment. This is so awkward. Okay. For entertainment, we had $100 budgeted. And that is this dark pink here. We spent $25 to get gas 
um, for a trip to Flagstaff. It's a little over an hour away from us. And so we needed more gas than we would typically budget for a pay period. And then we spent $65 at Freddy's, which we're never going back there again because that was a lot of damn money for some mediocre, you know, fast food joint. So anyways, $10 remaining in that envelope. I'm gonna swap that out. So yeah, that is all of our transactions from our cash envelopes for these last two weeks. Let's see what that brings our total up to. Savings, I should say. Uh, all right, so we saved 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, $56. And then I will go ahead and insert a screenshot. We did save $31 from our credit card um, reward points for our spending for these last two weeks. That's a lot of spending, y'all, but that's why I tell my husband, don't use your cash and don't use your um, your debit card because there is no rewards from that. Use a credit card, swipe that credit card, and that's what we've been spending. And so the rewards this week is 20 30 31 dollars so i will be stuffing that into um, this binder as well so let's set this aside i'm very pleased with our transactions these last two weeks because we did not go over budget on any of our categories so that was awesome all right so challenges this uh, let's see, we have our $5, I'm going to set that aside, that's my rollover. For $5, we have five, ten, fifteen dollars $15. This is going to go, this $1 here is going to go in my clear case at home when we get back where I stuff all of my dollars for my $1 savings challenge. But this 15 is going to go in here. That's getting thick too. I might have to start a new or add a second envelope in here for my $5 challenge. For my rollover, that's where this here is going. And then, oh no, that's supposed to go in there. Good grief. 20, 31. My rollover is where this 20, 30, $40 is gonna go. Edith, I don't think this will be a smart idea to mix alcohol and cash stuffing and filming because I'm struggling trying to get this damn binder to close. Goodness. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> Rewards. That's what I was doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's getting thick too. All right. Oh, let me organize my money here. I have to start a second envelope for that one too. I was in another shape. Mm. I was initially thinking of waiting until the end of the year to count all my money, but I think I might do like a six month um, overview, like checking in after six months of doing these challenges, how much I've saved and then doing it again. Well, let me put this in the back. And then doing it again after one year. I love watching my um, my rollover challenge binder grow because guys, this is money that I would normally be spending, right? Because I'm like, oh, hey, that's that's already budgeted for, let me just spend it. And then same with my my rewards. It's like that's just reward money. It doesn't count. It's not budgeted for. So why would I, you know, 
but it wasn't until this year that I started um, this savings challenge. My started my rollover savings challenge binder to encourage me to save even more money that would normally be frivolously spending. So I'm excited to see where I get that by the end of the year. Anyways, you guys, I am on my way out to dinner now. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you enjoy the content that I'm bringing to you so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.